conversations always just eventually end up in Transformers. It always <laughs> just loops into it. It's funnels the into greatest. It. It's either that or it's It just... is literally peak fiction. It is literally <laughs> peak fiction. It kind, of, kind of like how everything eventually evolves into Crab. It, it, what? Every, every conversation, uh, yeah. Yeah. Every every conversation <laughs> evolves into Transformers talk. Yeah. We should start doing a Transformers segment. Oh my god. That's the new uh, fake corner. Rambles in disguise. That's what that we're doing. Yeah. Ooh. Rambles in disguise. Oh, that's uh, what can I say? I haven't I'm done at, a fake what can I say? In a long I'm great at time. What, yeah. what can I say? I'm, I'm, what can I say? I, I'm so good at naming things. That's why I name my kid. <laughs> you have a kid? Yeah. What's, What's his, his name? name? What did you name your kid? Lucifer Morningstar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you want me to say? <laughs> what did no. you want me? I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want me to say? You, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect you to ask, actually ask me, so I'm like, um. um <laughs> you just um, pulled like, something out of nowhere? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Mm. Anyways! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dark Who Ramble. Yeah. Things episode, never change. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about this. I'm just gonna do a news segment. Yeah. Like we like we just finished the cold opening. Like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what those are. Uh, anyways, uh, segment. Anyways, uh, right off the bat, I would like to announce a name change. I. I am no longer Billy 1011. I am simply just B. Billy 1012? Ah, uh, wait. Oh. I'm simply just B. B. <laughs> Cause the Discord name change thing is starting to be rolled out, and I I just received oh. it. <laughs> and uh, this is what it does. Uh, since since it no longer hides, uh, since it no longer has to hide the like uh the tags like number tags, it just shows only the first letter of your name. <laughs> So now, whenever I have OBS open it, it, and it like activates streamer mode, I am simply just B. Oh, <laughs> what are you, Bumblebee? Bumblebee. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to our brand new Transformers. Oh yeah, but... talk. Welcome back to Transformers. So yeah, Johnny oh my god, we're reviewing the brand new. By the way, uh, line of Transformers toys. Oh my god, Johnny. Also, also, also Johnny. Uh, uh, on my end, you are simply just J. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just went to, wait, to that as well. Wait, I'm... oh no. What? Does that make me in? <laughs> no, you're good. You don't have to worry about that yet. You don't have okay. that yet. Although what you will be. I? You will be. What am I? You would be M. Wait. <laughs> no way. Oh no. Oh no. No. We have problems here. No. <laughs> This is bad. This is bad. Oh, uh, well, if you. <laughs> well, I'm not teaching my name. <laughs> well, okay. Either, well, then again, maybe. maybe it was maybe... the name given to me at my birth. I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> well, if you go with. Well, if you go with Capsule Mango, then it'd be C, so. No. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Oh the my M, god. Despite, despite the name. Despite that being the full name, the M comes first. The. <laughs> Yes, Mango Capsule. Oh. Well, you could re- You could just switch out the things, so instead of Mango Reloaded, you could be Reloaded Mango. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Huh. The Reloaded Mango? Mango yeah. Reloaded? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it my, oh, my way. No. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna do, I'm my, gonna do my own thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I did it my way. Huh. But anyways, uh, moving on. <laughs> uh, so I guess another thing to mention. Uh, this isn't news. It's just I guess a follow up. Cause uh, four days ago I did something I've been planning for a very long time, and that was uh, Megan and Melee Two. It was uh, I guess for yeah yeah Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> this time it's charitable. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, so yeah, as you can guess from that title, it was, uh, for people who don't know, uh, 
It was a charity stream for the Brain Behavior Research Foundation, which is like a mental health uh, organization that's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, we raised a total of seventy dollars for it, and uh, I think it was yesterday. Streamlabs Ooh. like sent me an email saying like it's gone through, but I don't, I don't know if the actual company has responded yet to confirm yet. But yeah, uh, it was fun, and uh, d despite the title issues we had early on. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure this will probably be something I do, like, a yearly thing. <clears throat> but anyways, moving on to actual news. Uh, so I guess the first thing to mention is Summer Game Fest. Yes, the thing that I missed pretty much in its entirety because, as usual, these things have no regard for people who work 9 to 5s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... So I guess uh, the, the like cold open of it was uh, Prince of Persia, if I remember correctly, it's like a new Prince of Persia game. It's like, but it was more like a 2D Metroidvania kind of thing, or 2.5D is the actual term. Uh, I am, I've never played a Prince of Persia game, but I thought it was pretty cool. It looked pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think uh, it's a Metroidvania. I think it's more like an action. Like a like a platformer kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, they also, right after they- actually, wait. What came first? Was it the Sonic thing or Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Sonic Mortal was, like, in Kombat. the middle. Right. Sonic was, like, in the middle. Oh, yeah. Was it- was it? I thought it was, like, pretty early on. Yeah. No, no. not really. Mortal Kombat was super early on. Was like yeah, Mortal Kombat- it was, like, the second thing, I think. It was the second thing, yeah. Okay, yeah, so we yeah, got yeah. a gameplay reveal for uh, Mortal Kombat 1. It's Mortal Kombat 12. It, it is to, it is 2023. The most recent game is Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> but um, uh, and there's also uh, I'm not that into Mortal Kombat, but I have to say I thought it was I thought it looked pretty good. <clears throat> um, uh, Katana looks amazing. Uh, anyways, uh, there's also gonna be a beta apparently, which I I have, uh, I've already signed up for and um. Hopefully I get in just to try it, but uh, I mean I don't really have much to say about it. I, Edwin, yeah, you're much more knowledgeable on NRS games than I am, so do you have anything to say? Uh, oh, I mean I've been watching pretty much all day gameplay, like new gameplay footage since I got a bunch of influencers go. Oh uh, yeah, the like little beta yeah, so event. There's like, so there's been like a shit ton of new footage, and I think I just need to play it to be honest. I just need to play yeah. it. Yeah. I know, I know, I think you you also said, like, uh, it looks good, but MK11 also looked amazing, like, before release, and then you played it and wasn't great. Yeah. So I just gotta play it. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe if you get in the if you get in the beta, I guess there's that. Yeah. Uh. Uh, there was also... Uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, I thought I thought you said something. Uh, but uh, also at the event, there was a uh, they showed a a new like okay, not not exactly two D Sonic, but it was like a, a new side scroller kind of game. Which I mean, I'm not that into Sonic, but Sonic yeah. Generations, Sonic, Sonic Generation, Generations. not or yeah. or I guess the continuing the classic timeline or whatever. But uh, it's it's, it's Sonic Mania 3D. Yeah, pretty yeah, much yeah, actually. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I actually saw like an excerpt of a, like an interview or something where they said like that's kind of what the idea was or something like that. Yeah. But um, I, I know people are really excited about that one that one guy, Fame the Sniper. I think his name is was like teased at the end. Yeah. Uh, he has a gun. He has a gun. Yeah. A gun. Yeah, I don't. Well, well, we'll we'll see how the game is. I think I yeah. do think classic Sonic is better than like. Yeah, the definitely. Post, the post adventure Sonic. But, yeah. You know, we'll see. I'm not particularly impressed by the game. I don't think it looks that good. But, I mean, I guess mm. we'll see. Yeah. And I do appreciate that, like, uh, I never thought they'd do this because I always assumed Sonic devs were cowards. But they, mm. they apparently, there is not a single returning level in this game. Oh wow, not even. We're finally not free from Green Hill. Hill. We're finally free from oh, Green everybody, Hill. Everybody, everybody oh. is celebrating. I, I saw like a like a like a like a a thing on Twitter where it was like a it's that one meme. Fin finally, I'm free with like person breaking the. Oh, chain. the person breaking the, the handcuffs. But it's yeah. Classic Sonic. <laughs> yeah, but it's Sonic. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, we'll see. I I hope it's good because I mean, 
you know, I, I, I'd rather Sonic be more like how it was in the old days, because it's good Sonic games. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. I got I don't think any of us have played uh, Frontiers yet, but I mean, from what I've heard, people seem to like it, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, Frontiers, yeah. I'll actually give a pass. Frontiers, mm -hmm. I can actually give a pass of being decent, even though I haven't played it, but it looks pretty <laughs> decent enough to me. Yeah, I, I guess I guess we can say, like, that That would be, like, it's kind oh, of okay, no, the turning actually, point the or whatever. Very... Well, actually, the game doesn't look very good to me, but, but I've seen videos that made me think, okay, you know, this game has something going on. Yeah. <laughs> this one has something going on. It's, 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 got, it's definitely got more than forces. God, I still can't believe yeah, I spent yeah, money on that game. <laughs> it's better than forces. Yeah, it looks better than forces. I bought it on it's sale, bad. and it was still too much. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but anyways, uh... They also showed uh, Alan Wake 2. Edwin, this is your uh, this is your uh, turf. Um. Oh yes, I actually, real quick. Speaking cool. of turf, uh, Big Run is going on right now. Um, Fuck Splatoon, it's I hate Big that Run. Game. I never want to play it again in my life. <laughs> I hate it. He is he is facing a post salmon run stress. <laughs> I hate Splatoon so much. They didn't make that game. They should have stopped at the first one. <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways, back to Ellen Wake. Uh, it looks I, good. Yeah, I, I've never played the first, but uh, uh, from what we saw of the like gameplay trailer that they showed off, it looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it, they're very. They've taken a lot of inspiration from Resident Evil remake, yeah. which is <laughs> which... perfectly fine. I mean, you. I think you even said like that. This is just regular for this developer or whatever. Uh, yeah. They, well, I. I don't really think they. They're. They don't. They don't copy. They don't copy games. They copy other works. Mm. They just copy. They just love copying other works. Well, like uh. Like you said, the first Alan Wake, Alan Wake was like uh very reminiscent of a something else, like a book or something. Of Stephen King, it was, it was yeah very reminiscent. If you've read a single Stephen King book or just watch it, then <laughs> you you kind of get the vibe of what Alan Wake. Yeah. Uh, but it always feels like Alan Wake. I guess just always felt like like I guess even the character, the character of Alan Wake. And I guess like the attitude feels like, like an, like like an idiot who thinks he's very intelligent, and that's what Alan Wake is, and so that's why I like it. I think Alan Wake is a big fucking idiot, <laughs> but I think it's like in a in a, in a charming like, way. All, look at him, like all look at him. He thinks he's smart. Look at him, he's he doing his best. Smart. Look at him, look at this guy, absolute fucking moron. But yeah, <laughs> and then they also, I mean. It, with, with control, which is like a really popular game, like it's it's no like it's pretty much an open secret that yeah they, they yeah they, they were heavily really inspired in quotes by SCP yeah 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 they really went in there yeah but yeah I think Alan Wake Two looks great it looks like the first game but better yeah <laughs> in gameplay in, ga in terms of gameplay mm. writing I hope not I hope it's as bad as the first one yeah <laughs> it's charming and based on that one and based on what we saw the the like main girl and that still has one-liners which you talked about yeah yeah and alan wake still sounds like a fucking loser so that's pretty <laughs> cool i'm excited yeah. for it i'm gonna buy it i think it i think it's neat i think alan wake it's really funny i think it's stupid but it has like so many neat ideas there's <laughs> a lot of neat ideas like oh the way you kill the monsters is by shining light on them that's yeah. cool you have to shine light on them to expose a like weak point and then shoot it yeah which I think the I think it's cool. Yeah. Uh, after that was what was after that? Uh, I, I'm after depending Alan on Wake. you to remember because the only other thing is the grand finale, which I have a a way to transition into that. Well, well, actually, if we're gonna Jordan. talk about that, then then we can talk about Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Oh yeah, Sephiroth with the phone. <laughs> yeah, they gave Sephiroth a phone, and it's uh, uh, it's a mobile game. Yeah, uh, it has yeah. like the original uh, kind of what's it called uh, models. It's, it's supposed to be like you guys. You guys have played Fire Emblem Heroes, right? Yeah. 
So you know how like Fire Emblem Heroes is like story mode is like split into like different uh, books and shit, and every book has a different story going on. Oh, so, like a, like a new like a new arc. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, the, the this new Final Fantasy mobile game looks like that, but like instead of like being divided by like arcs, it's divided by games. So like. The whole point of it is to catch you up on the entirety of FF7, including Did every really spin-off, every spin-off movie, every spin-off game, all of that <laughs> stuff. Like, like it, Ever Crisis has its own version of Final Fantasy VII in it, like its own like retelling of it, I guess, but for mobile. And you'll be able to play like all the other, <laughs> shit, like Cliff Notes versions, like uh, Crisis Core. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus, Advent Children, stuff like that. That's... So basically, yeah, they're basically they turned the entire the entire FF7 storyline, story yeah, into a mobile game. Yes. Yeah. Whether that turns out good or bad will remain to see. <laughs> Has there ever been a good Square Enix mobile game? I haven't played any of them, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's there's also another thing we forgot. Which is You know you know what's funny? I'm literally looking at that right now. <laughs> I'm trying I'm, I'm checking like the summer game oh, testing. Yeah. I just scrolled past it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think it's gonna be ter terrible, but you know what scene <laughs> that, that this one scene was funny. <laughs> It, yeah, this one scene was funny. This was like half the trailer was this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know you were saying like if you just play uh what's it called? Like careless whisper over this, it, the scene takes on an entirely new meaning. Yeah. <laughs> uh they also oh, yeah, other than that, Oh yeah, there's really also no. Also, right above it was um they have they showed off like the release date for Spider Man two and also the collector's edition. Oh yeah, 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 just some cool looking costumes. Yeah, cool a lot of costumes. Guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, also there was. Many gonna be in the main game. Yeah. Probably a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was also oh, a. Uh... Don't, forget the, don't forget about the other Spider-Man game they announced. Uh, which was what was it again? Like a Dragon Gaiden. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe we almost forgot about that. Yeah, that the, the, the official Twitter has actually acknowledged the memes of Kiryu as Spider-Man now. Ah, uh, amazing! Yeah. They're like <laughs> it's just your. Sona. They're like it's it's just your own. It's just your friendly neighborhood secret agent. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, there's a smaller thing that only I really care about. But Shadows of the Damned is getting a remaster. Oh yeah. And, you know, for all for all you Suda heads out there, you know, you know what this means. It's a it's a pretty pretty wild. Oh uh, yes, bit big day for erect gun fans. Yes. Yes. I mean, also, there was a th also the thing that uh, that you told me to ping on for in the middle of the event. Oh right! I actually forgot about that. Sandland, the video game. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess for people who don't know, this was uh, uh, Akira Toriyama, the man who behind uh, Dragon Ball. This was like his other uh, series. One of his other things. It's one of his other things. He did this. Uh, I believe that when you looked it up at 2000, he started. It was like it was like in the 2000s. And, um, it was in 2000. It was in 2000, 2001. About that. Yeah. Yeah. So it was literally pretty much right after Dragon Ball. Um, yeah. After he finished the manga for that, because he was pretty much with little to no involvement with GT. Yeah. I know that. that I know that one thing caused uh, the big debate over if GT is canon. Let's not. Let's it's not talk. But let's not start let's that because I know that's a. Uh, no, big war. It's a, yeah, it's um, you're gonna create a war to a great war. Yeah. We'll yeah. There. Anyways. Uh, yeah, what else? That being. Uh, based on what I'm seeing, there's really, there wasn't really, really much else to talk about. There was. Yeah. Well, there was the grand finale. Uh, uh yes. Dash? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Dash. So oh yeah! Dash oh yeah! DoorDash. DoorDash is officially <laughs> coming to the Xbox and PlayStation Five, and it looks gorgeous. Beautiful graphics. 
Incredible <laughs> gameplay. I think DoorDash has a pretty good chance of being the game of the year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but yes. No, we're talking about Final Fantasy 7 ah, I, uh, uh, oh, no. I was gonna... I was gonna do a transition, like, uh, similar to what Jeff did. Uh, the, the RPG... Uh, a, a, a remake of a game that revolutionized the RPG scene. <laughs> And, uh, I, I forgot the what the rumors. full thing was. The rumors, the rumors. were true. <laughs> were true. Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't know about you guys. I didn't know any kind of rumor going around about FF7 Remake. All the rumors are just like, not even rumors, they're just speculation. Like, is Eric like, gonna die? I, I think the rumor was, I, think, I, I, I guess the only thing I can think of as to what he may have been talking about was, I don't know, maybe people were like discussing, uh, Oh, maybe there's gonna be a trailer at the summer. I almost said Game Awards at the Summer yeah. Game Fest. Yeah, like Super that's the only like, that's the only thing I can think of. And even then, I didn't, I didn't see enough of it to like uh, have it be like I don't know. I, I think it was less a rumor and more of a like people were thinking. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna be there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I pretty much just have the same thing to say that I said about uh, Breath of the Wild, or Tears of the Kingdom, and Spider-Man 2. Oh yeah, yeah, it's looking like more of a game. It's looking like the same, it's looking like the last one, but But, more. but a sequel. <laughs> yeah. But more, and probably yeah. slightly better. Yeah. That's all I asked for. Yeah. yeah. More, sa same as last one, but slightly better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I, I think that is the future that, that we're going with. The same game, but Yeah. More. Which I think is good. Better than waiting like 10 years for the next game that like, all new. Yeah. yeah. But now let's talk about the real game that matters. Oh yes. Dude, do Party we want to- animals. Oh yeah, yeah. peak fiction. Fiction. <laughs> no, what? to me it's not fiction. To me it's real life. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, I guess we should talk about the, f the actual grand finale, I guess. And that was if I can yep. find it. Human Fall Flat 2 is real now. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. Dang, I'm trying to find like a good image to show for it. <laughs> ah, oh well. Well, so, uh, uh, short... Okay, so if you couldn't guess, uh, a lot of people, when Jeff started going on that, uh, that, like, little speech about, uh, <clears throat> like, uh, it's a game, it's a remake of a game that revolutionized RPGs, or, and, like, the rumors were true and all that, uh, a lot of people expected it to be a Persona 3 remake, and then it was not, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> like, two hours later, <laughs> Um, well, someone at Atlas got fired, <laughs> because, uh, I'm guessing it's similar to what happened with, uh, I guess it's similar to what happened with the Brian Fury trailer, where they had it on a timer or something, and it came up a little too early, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, two trailers popped up on Atlas's Instagram, being one for Persona 5... Do we want to say the title yet, or just... T. Persona 5T, which... Uh, we already knew for a while going in. I, yeah, we knew was, it was gonna be a... a, a it was, we knew, it was P, a, we knew it was something a, was... We knew there was something called P5T because of, like, uh, domain names that yeah, were... Yeah, honestly, guys, I, I'm surprised it really is just, like, a, one of those potion mixer games, but with T. It's really, really <laughs> surprising, you know? Uh, I, yes. I heard there's a... There, there's a uh, uh, what's the, what's a tea? What I don't know tea. I don't drink tea. What's a tea name? Uh, green. Um, yeah, green tea. That's the green tea. Horrible. The green tea boss is. Gonna oh no, I'm not a teaologist. <laughs> I think called a teaologist. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, in truth, uh, so Edwin, you were, I think ever since the the P five T thing came out, uh, you were. Like adamant that like it has to be Persona Five Tactics. It has to be. <laughs> and well, I was literally the only person on this fucking planet who thought that. Really? Nobody no one else? 
I didn't see anybody else say T. Uh, or, tactics, or tactics, you mean, yeah. Or tactics, yeah. I didn't see anybody say tactics. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I saw a few people saying it, but... I'm sure somebody's... I, I'm, I'm sure somebody said I that. I might just be thinking of your post and just mixing that in. <laughs> true, I, I... True. Literally, ever since the domain name was announced, the first thing I said was, please be tactics, please be tactics, and it was. Well... <laughs> uh... I, I saw the name before. Tournament. <laughs> Tournament fools. Yeah. I, I get Atlas. I know what they're gonna do. Tournament, that's what everybody wants. Everybody wanted the arena game. What do they not want? They don't want a tactics game. It's gonna be that one, guys. And, and you're the only person who wanted a tactics game. And that's well, right. that's right. A Atlas understands me. I understand <coughs> Atlas. But yeah, so um, as you can see here, so uh, when the like whole thing came out, uh, <laughs> um, Edwin didn't. He didn't see what the T stood for at first, but uh. Because uh, he didn't want to look at it until uh, until we got Almond there, because it was only it was only uh, me, him, and Johnny in the call at the time. So um, oh, like when yeah. that came out, uh, I I decided to look up what the T stood for just to like know. And I saw I saw it, and immediately I just DM Johnny. <laughs> it's Persona Five Tactica. <laughs> 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 Like I had to like keep it in. I I know. I... <laughs> like like Edwin Edwin was in the call with us. Yeah. So like to, like as I was I'm I'm assuming Did as you were. Was another was this another like MGS three moment or like? Or, like you just knew. I just knew. <laughs> I guess maybe. <laughs> oh. But... Realistically, it could have been anything. Realistically, it could have been fucking anything. Once again. Like Persona well, well, 5 Toast really Simulator, I don't know. Yeah, Persona 5 Tournament, which is what everybody believed in, but I don't subscribe to the to the to the hive mind. <laughs> uh, I said something like trick shot, because I just thought it was Oh yeah! <laughs> actually Persona 5 first person shooter. Actually, um um What? Actually um. So this this uh might be unknown news to you guys, but uh, Oh uh the same person who gave us the name of Persona 5 T and 3 Remake. Um, Which we'll get to that soon. <laughs> uh, who seems to be quite reliable, actually. And again, I don't believe leaks and rumors, but you know, I'm just. But it's like, at this point, it's like, okay, this guy's probably trusted. He's probably yeah. saying some stuff right, and I actually do. I actually do believe it based on like what he said. I'm like. Yeah, they would do that. That is something <laughs> Atlas would do. So I, based on my knowledge of Atlas and that rumor, yeah, that is something they would do. Hmm. So there's, a, you, you, I told you guys about it actually. It was, it was Project Asa. Oh yeah. I know you posted oh, something about it, but I didn't see what I didn't read it. It is a, a yet to be announced Persona game, heavily featuring everybody. Oh. One through five one through five one. wow and this appears to be <laughs> it appears to be more like a spin-off in the vein of like like what uh x was what p5x was more like it's probably not really like a big it's not like an actual like major game it's just like a spin-off side project like a thing. like a fan service spin-off kind of thing yeah fan service spin -off, like even maybe even less than cube in terms of like it's more like here this is you're Okay, the whole point of it is multiplayer. It has, it's going to be the first ever Persona game with multiplayer. Ah. And, like, the second ever Atlas game ever with, like, tr true multiplayer. Oh, third. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm reading the thing. Yeah, second, because SMP9 didn't have multiplayer. Yeah, I, I'm reading the thing right now, and yeah, it says, uh... <clears throat> Uh, P1 through P5 game was released in quarter three, 2024. When I was told about it, the code name was Asa, which I don't think is the final title. It has co-op elements and activities, shooting, etc. There you go, Johnny. There's your Persona 5 trick shot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it yeah. appears that it'll be like a big fan service game. Yeah. Speaking um, of fan service games, this, this is gonna be quick, <laughs> but right. literally right under it. So, just for some backstory, 
uh, last month, uh, during one of my many, uh, attempts to defend my love of Nikkei, <laughs> uh, against these guys, uh, one thing I said was, hey, you have to give them one thing, they haven't done swimsuits. I believe I retorted with, they haven't done swimsuits yet. Well, here it is. <laughs> well, here it is. And then... <laughs> And then two, like, um, one or two months later, Shift Up came in and said, how about no? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I don't know why. Well, apparently. Didn't... What? You sounded so confident as if, like, they would never, they wouldn't do it. I, I knew they would do it eventually. I, like, what I meant was, like, hey, they haven't done it yet. <laughs> most, like, most other gotch games, they would have done it, like, month two. <laughs> No, they... They did take a while. I'll, I'll give them credit. They did take a while. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, 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 they did it right on time, honestly. Yeah, it is like summer. Yeah. Stuff usually comes out in summer, so... Yeah. Oh, true, 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 true. Like, yeah. I don't know what you're guys. on about. Guys, guys. Yeah. Oh, I do think it was funny what, what your response was. <laughs> you were like, okay, they haven't done swimsuits, but I'm willing to bet they have done bunny girls. And I was, I was like... All that is literally the current event at the time. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> it's not that hard to figure out. It yeah. Really Alright, but yeah. now guys, I'm just something that actually is good. So, I got some breaking news fresh off the off the presses. And by yeah. fresh off the presses, Ooh. I mean nine hours ago. <laughs> of course. That being? I'll just read the quote. I'll just read the quote. Okay. But this is more for you and me, really. This is more for you and me, but yeah. Okay. I think I think Johnny and Alm could enjoy. It. Actually, I don't know if Johnny's right. seen it or not. I think so. Yeah, I think so actually. Oh, Alm actually does know. Wait, what, what am I saying? Yeah, I think we all know this one. So, <laughs> I'll just read the tweet out. All right. I can't believe it's been a year since we released the teaser for Castlevania Nocturne. Oh. But I actually now, didn't know about this. But now, well, keep an eye out for some news very soon. Hey, Ooh. let's go. <laughs> That's right, the second best Nocturne is coming soon. <laughs> Finally time for we the Goat Richter to shine. We will. It's true. So true. So true. Giga Chad Richter. Yeah. Joseph <laughs> Joe Star. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's... Yeah, I remember like every, uh, every few months I would like look at... Uh, I would like... I would, like, look up uh, Castlevania Nocturne again, being like, did they ever follow up on this? <laughs> but, okay, it looks like they are going to soon, so that's good to hear. That is good to hear. Yeah. And now, in Transformers news... Oh my god. <laughs> the hit video game, Fortnite Battle Royale, <laughs> has begun a new season. Oh, yes. And in its new season, features a guest appearance from famous Transformers character, Optimus Prime. Who will be a, uh, an available skin in this season's battle pass? This wraps up the Transformers news segment. Yes, Autobots, I command you to hit the greedy. Anyway, <laughs> Megatron, Megatron, <laughs> Prime. They have the web shooters. They have the. Oh no, they took them away. The, the web shooters. <laughs> Oh, uh, what, what's the current? What are the, some of the current weapons in the game? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what are some of the current guns in the game? Um, I don't know. I'm not oh for that player. I played it. I don't remember. Oh my god. Um, uh, let's just say, okay, let, let's just say, you know, uh, uh Megatron Prime. You're they have a lightsaber battle. They have a lightsaber battle. There you go. Oh my god. They take the lightsaber. <laughs> They're fucking using the Attack on Titan 3D to maneuver gear. Yeah. And they're shooting each other back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh you, have no, you have no... You have no hope this time, Prime. For I have the, the, Goku on my side. The, no, 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 the trailer should have ended. You know, it's, it's, it's Lightsaber Optimus Prime versus uh, Megatron. And, the, and then Goku comes in. He, Goku huh. comes in. Oh, yeah, I remember we were saying, like, uh... They should. Like, they should start putting Goku in the CGI trailers. Yeah. 
<laughs> they really <laughs> should. <laughs> they debut like a new character, like uh, uh, like let's say they have a like, fucking Super Mario in Fortnite now. Right? Oh my let's god! They, movie they couldn't even get Samus. I don't think Mario's getting in, but continue. Yeah, but yeah, this is this is all this is all just like, speculation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just what if? What if? You yeah. Just have like Limit. Mario. You know, he, he he just killed like three three enemies. And then Rick Sanchez comes in, <laughs> and then he just fucking shoots Mario with a revolver. Oh my god. And then Mario is saved by Goku. Yeah. Maybe that is a hope for you in Smash! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, actually, no, yeah, you're right. You're right. Mario's gonna go like, ah, Goku, we meet again. <laughs> uh... Anyway. Can we start now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, we didn't talk about Persona 3. It looks really, 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 really. Yeah, I, won I wonder really, if really, anyone's really, happy really, about really, this. Really, really, I wonder if there's anyone who is really, really, may really, 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 particularly really, 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 be happy about this. It, it looks really, 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 really good. Get it. <laughs> That's my review. Hmm. Of the trailer, it looks really good. You know, I have, I, I have the recording of your, um, of your, I, I uploaded your reaction, but it's still unlisted. <laughs> but to be fair, I kind of wanted to like, uh, I kind of wanted to edit it a little bit, but I mean, I think it's fine on its, on its own. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the game looks pretty good, I'd say. Excuse I'd me? I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, actually, actually one more thing. So, um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, last night I found out that there was something in a PlayStation thing that everyone hasn't even heard of called PlayStation Stars. Uh, it has like little collectible things you can get for doing certain things. I it's... thought you just bought an NFT to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of does look like that, I will be honest. But, um... Eh. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, um, I guess the easiest way to describe PlayStation Stars is... It's like, it's like, uh, the Game Pass missions that Xbox has, except much worse, in my opinion. But, uh, one of the little, like, collectible things that they had was, uh, if you play a certain fighting game, which the only one I had was, um, Soul Calibur VI, and, uh, if you just, if you just play it, like, for a little bit, uh, you get a little, like, 3D model of an arcade machine, but, uh, there's some, some familiar faces on, on it. <laughs> Or familiar silhouettes, to be more accurate. And also, for some reason, Leifang fighting someone's Angry Birds OC. But, uh, yeah, Sony acknowledged DOA. <laughs> what? That's what it looks like! Okay, but... Okay, but Billy? Yeah? Even if that is the case, it still was not Ko Koei Techno that acknowledged it. <laughs> Uh... Tragic. <laughs> Another tragedy. <laughs> uh, I hear scared. I'm just happy it's mentioned. <laughs> I legit, yeah. I legit never knew that existed. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hang on. Let me scroll back up. Yeah. This is. I, I just. It was like here's your response. Thing. Yeah. Here's your response right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I, I do not blame you. It's, 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 it's not worth it in my opinion. I think there is like a thing where if you get, gather up enough points, you can like get games with with it. But m much like Game Pass, much like the Game Pass missions, it's like you have to do a lot just to get it, and I don't think it's worth it. You know, I had I had accumulated a pretty decent amount of money with Game Pass points. Mm. And then it all disappeared. Why? It said I could redeem my points, and so I did. Oh, it ate it. And it ate it, and it gave me nothing back. Dang. Yeah. Anyways, I think that's enough. <laughs> now we can start for real. Alright. This concludes Podcast Sports Chain. Uh, where's the thing? Mm. 
Okay. Now, we begin. <laughs> 